Today, I'm gonna to talk about some of my favorite accessories for mobile filmmaking. And this is gonna be a fun one because we're actually shooting a cinematic day in the life short film with Mia. And I'm shooting on the iPhone 15 Pro Max in log. And we'll show you that you don't always need a giant camera to make a good film. All you need is your phone and these accessories can definitely enhance your mobile filmmaking experience. So let's get into it. Thanks. Flavor. So the first accessory that I want to talk about is the Zhiyun Smooth 5S. A gimbal shot's instantly going to increase the production quality and look of your footage. And the reason I love this the most is because not only is it so compact, but it also can hold the weight of a moment lens. I'm shooting currently on the T-Series Tele lens, and this is actually the heaviest moment lens, and the motors are working totally fine. And a huge plus is that this gimbal literally takes five seconds to balance. So if you do want to incorporate some smooth tracking shots into your film or your videos, then I definitely recommend getting the Zhiyun Smooth 5S. I do recommend downloading the Zhiyun app. This will allow you to go into the settings and manually calibrate your gimbal. I did need to adjust mine to negative 1.2 to get the horizon even. Okay, so next, another essential accessory for mobile filmmaking for me are the Moment T-Series lenses. And what I really love about these is that you're essentially treating your phone like a camera, giving yourself different lenses for different focal lengths and different styles. My two my personal favorite are the Tele 58mm lens and the T-Series anamorphic lenses. The T-Series 58mm Tele gives you a more punched in focal length on your main 1x lens and it creates some nice background blur which helps your audience focus on your subject. And the T-Series anamorphic lens gives you that stretched out aspect ratio, some nice character around the edges and unique flares. Also the T-Series fisheye lens is such a fun focal length to play with. You can get a bunch of different unique POV angles and ultra wide experimental shots. So that's also one of my favorites for mobile filmmaking. All you need is a Moment case and a T-Series drop and mount or one of these universal T-Series mounts. Whoa, I just woke up today. I'm gonna have my coffee. Okay, so we're gonna do a two piece for my next two favorite accessories. We got the Joby Gorilla Pod and we have the Moment MagSafe tripod mount. So I love the Joby Gorilla Pod because as you can see, we're able to just wrap this around and literally mount this thing anywhere. We have it mounted to a coffee cup with the MagSafe mount. All I gotta do, slap this thing on and now we have an instant POV shot. No crazy gear needed, literally Gorilla Pod, tripod mount, phone, and the Moment T-Series fisheye. We said the Joby grip can be mounted on literally anything. Dude, look how sick this looks. <laughs> if you see me turn purple, mind your business. I don't know, I think she's making a fashion statement. Nice little choker necklace to Are complete the outfit. Me? Also another reason I love the Moment MagSafe tripod mount is if you want to switch to shooting vertical content, all you have to do is loosen the cold shoot in the back, rotate your phone, tighten it back up, and you're good to start shooting vertical. All right, so we are about to film a little dialogue scene with Mia and B over there. And I wanna talk about another one of my favorite pieces of gear for mobile filmmaking and just filmmaking in general. And that is the Rode Wireless Go 2 lav mics. Audio can honestly be more important than video because if you have bad audio, your film is just gonna feel like a bad student high school film. So having great audio is amazing. And now we have the receiver plugged in directly to the iPhone 15 Pro Max with a USB-C cable. All right, and this is what it sounds like using the Rode Wireless Go 2s. As you can see, no matter how far back I go, no matter which direction my voice is coming from, you can still hear me crystal clear. And now this is with the iPhone audio. There's a bunch of birds passing by. You might not even be able to hear me. Yeah, so having good audio for your videos makes a huge difference. All right, next up we got the Filmmaker Cage by Moment. And the reason I love this thing is not only because it is mag safe, so you just toss this thing on and off, but you can also mount things like mics and lights on the top with the cold shoe, a bunch of quarter 20s, and you also get two points of contact. So pretty much I'm gonna do an overhead shot with Mia right now, and I'm just gonna go handheld. So if you do like shooting handheld, but you want to still avoid getting micro jitters, then the Moment Filmmaker Cage is perfect because it gives you that added stability. And those mounting points are definitely a plus if you want to use any mics or lights when you're shooting. 
All right, everyone, so those are some of the best accessories for mobile filmmaking and my personal favorites. And everything I used in this video will be linked in the description down below. And if you haven't already checked out Mia's date in the life short film that we shot, feel free to go give that a watch on the channel now. At the end of the day, these are all just tools to create. So it's important to consider what you really need to bring your vision to life and what you want to create. If you are a beginner starting out, creating videos and films on your phone is a great entry into the world of filmmaking. And also to professionals out there, it's so fun just because it's still a much more simple experience than shooting on a cinema camera. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Oh. She had a vision for the shot, she did it.